key thing of, of the Fazent experience is that you don't sit down and have food or, or, or wine. You, you are part of, of, of a group of people yes. talking, enjoying, as you say, you know, you ha it's, it's a journey. Yeah. You know, you try different things and with different things you can try different wines and you can, you know, as soon as you go into the restaurant and you see a party there, four or six or even a larger party, you see that interaction going on and it becomes much more, it's more like if you invite people to your house. Yes. You know what I mean? Thomas, it's so wonderful to be here at Fazenda. Um, you know, it's uh, I think my third visit and it's just yes. amazing here in Manchester. Um, I just love the concept. Tell me about your concept of Fazenda because for me it's a little bit like home from home, although it's slightly different yeah. here. Bry is our thing and this is, um, you know, fantastic. All your different cuts of meat. So we love that in South Africa too, but tell us how, how what Fazenda is all about here. Fazenda mm -hmm. is a premium uh, version of uh, the traditional South American way of serving meats. So it's all about meats, to be honest. Um, and when there's meat, there's wine, of course. Um, but uh, what we do here is um, we, we serve uh, a large uh, selection of uh, red meats and uh, white meats, as well as pork and lamb. Um, South African wine as, as a brand, you know, in England it is it's strong, but it's not that well known. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of people that haven't tried, apart from maybe Pinotage, because it's a strange thing that not many people try it that comes from South Africa. You know, South African Sauvignon Blanc, you know, not many people have tried it, and you guys do an amazing Sauvignon Blanc. You know, again, it's not normal to have a Sauvignon Blanc coming from South Africa. Yours is ridiculously good, or your Pinot Noir. Yeah. And, and that gives people the opportunity to try wines from different areas. fantastic wine first of all. Uh, we love here at Presenda for something to be different and um, I absolutely love the fact that this Sauvignon Blanc is completely atypical of what our guests would normally expect from South Africa. We're a South American restaurant and a lot of what we do is meat so we need to do with full flavour and a lot of wines from all over the world can generally be very mass produced but that's not what we get here. You get incredible flavour and in particular you get, for me, a lot of green pepper on the nose. Mm -hmm. I don't know if um, I'm imagining that, but something savoury, that kind of thing goes really well with food. There are, you don't want to just get something fruity in front of passion fruit. It's much, much more savoury than that. Yeah, it's got a lovely saltiness. Kind of, you, you get the feeling that you're close to the Atlantic when you when you taste this as well. Yeah, yeah exactly. And now we're going to taste um, the red one of the red wines that you stuck here and you do so well with, huh? The, Creation Indeed, indeed. So, um, yeah, for the first, with the Sauvignon, we take a Bordeaux grape and plant in South Africa. Now we're looking at uh, Rome. Yeah. Um, but what I love is that, again, in keeping with the cooler climate and doing things more, not quite an old world way, but definitely not the normal way that you'd expect from a new world country, what we have here is something that we've deliberately called it Syrah Grenache, not Shiraz. And I think that that in itself, you're making a point and the wine carries it through. So you've got something that's uh, got, again, natural acidity. It's definitely got something fragrant there in the nose. Um, very powerful, but very smooth. So you've got the perfect combination of something that you can tell, okay, you've got some sunshine, you've, you've got uh, fruit, but you've got the backbone of something to give you the structure to go through as well. It's quite velvety, isn't it? And very Christmassy. Cherries and cranberries and spice. And I'm um, looking forward to putting away a case so that we can try it again in five years' time. We'll uh, see if we can do this interview again and uh, see how it's going. Fantastic. Yeah.